Well, this is what happens. You get cut no slack because Langford, the Cardinals, Tony Lewis all think that, you know, Maddox could hit a fly on a wall with a change-up, so they think he was hit intentionally. So Larry Poncino warns Kent Merker, don't you even dare, don't you dare, even right center just told him, don't you dare throw at Andrew Jones with your first pitch of this. Don't do it! Behind him, and he gets the gate, does Merker. And here come the benches. Mark McGuire is going to protect his pitcher, and of course, no one's going through McGuire. No. Fernando Taxis, he's all hopping mad. Just lots of pushing and shoving, no feud playing. Poncino informs Merker he's gone, and then Merker sells some fan to bring it. Let's go to the top of the seventh. Fernando Tatis, Fernando Luffy models. We're not a little models this season. Tenth homer of the season. The Cards win nine to one. Manny Ibar got the win by following up Merker with six scoreless innings. It had been three years and one day since Maddox gave up the only other grand slam of his career to Benito Santiago. McGuire hit his 100th home run as a Cardinal in grand style, became the 15th player in history to hit the century mark in both leagues, and in so doing, he ended Atlanta's six-game winning streak and his personal turn of field drought in the process. It's all about getting balls to hit and driving. It's one of my seventh game here. You gotta think I did it on purpose. I mean, I did. I was just trying to come in. Uh, you know, hit some balls I thought pretty good that were down in the way last night, and I wanted to make sure I came in. I didn't hit anybody. I got thrown out of a game for not hitting somebody. And I wasn't trying to hit anybody. The Astros and Mets, top of the second.